The Tampa Bay Lightning shock everyone by winning the Jake Gensel sweepstakes, plus the Seattle Kraken make two sneaky signings that are going to make a huge impact for their organization. And we're going to break all this down for you coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. So, Merck, with that said, more and more signings are coming up as Seattle has a sneaky good day. I mean, what are we, like 120 plus signings in? I mean, my brain is rolling right now with these new rosters, but I mean, Seattle picked up two great players here today. And if we just take a look here, we're talking about Chandler Stevenson from the Vegas Golden Knights, getting him in for seven years at 6.25 million AAV. They also robbed Brandon Montour from the Florida Panthers at seven years, 7.14 million AAV. And these guys are great players. I mean, if we just take a look at their stats here. I mean, we look at Brandon Montour. He's been a class defenseman during his time in Florida, getting a lot of broadcast time in the playoffs. He, you know, his face has been up there quite a lot. In 66 games this uh, regular season, he had 33 points, 168 shots. He also had 104 hits with 67 blocks, uh, coming in at a 23 minutes time on ice average. Wow, what a Tom and Ice average for Brandon Montour. But we jumped to Chandler Stevenson in 75 games for Vegas this year. He had 51 points, 97 shots, 18 29 uh, average time on ice. Uh, they also say here he shoots 16.5% on the season. And, you know, he's a really, really good player, a very solid pickup. 51 point scorer. He's a great defensive forward as well. And, Mark, I mean,. It, it, it just seems like we're getting more and more signings. And, I mean, we're going to watch hockey next year. and The rosters are going to be completely different. But what a day by the Seattle Kraken. I mean, a new franchise picking up two great players here that are going to help them push next year. Yeah, it almost feels like the league's playing GM Connect at this point. <laughs> and just ripping trades, ripping signings. Everything looks so different. But I love these two pickups for the Seattle Kraken. I mean, Chandler Stevenson, first off adds great depth to this roster of young centers that they already have. He comes in, he can be the veteran, he has the Stanley Cup under his belt. This is a guy that's going to be immediately injected into the top six and put on a great performance for this team. Brandon Montour on that right side is going to be incredible as well. This was a guy that just won a Stanley Cup with the Florida Panthers. He's shown that he can be that top four defenseman. He's shown that he can do everything it takes to put his body on the line to hoist the cup. I mean, we've seen them go on a run last season into this season where they finally won it all. So getting these two names into Seattle with their young team, their up and coming team should finally get them back into the playoffs and maybe let them make a t bit of a deep run with this new look roster. Yeah, 100%. I really like this Seattle team. I liked them a lot last year. And now adding two great players here, like you said, that are just going to propel them even further. Getting Brandon Montour, who is the, uh, the perfect two-way defenseman, in my opinion. He can go out there. He can get you points. He can also get it done on the defensive end as well. And like you said with Chandler Stevenson, I mean, he could easily get injected into this top six. Create uh, well with playmaking. He can also put a few goals up. Not, not as many goals as assists he's a great playmaker and the defensive side of the game I mean he back checks he's good with his stick and this is just perfect for the Seattle Kraken I think these two guys are really going to complement the roster that they already have and I'd look out for Seattle this year they, they may be my dark horse at this point but we got to talk about the big thing that happened the big fish today was Jake Gensel and Tampa looks insane with Jake Gensel on their roster I mean Merck I was really expected Tampa to get him uh, I mean it was the, the the top destination but I didn't think think they could pull it off but they did they signed Jake Gensel to a seven-year contract worth uh, 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 nine million AAV I mean huge contract for Jake Gensel definitely well deserved there's been a lot of money thrown around here today in the NHL but I mean if we just take a look at his stats uh, last season, uh, yeah, in 67 games, he had 77 points over a point per game with 30 goals, 47 assists, with a whopping 238 shots. He's not afraid to rip one on net. Uh, also averaging about 20 minutes time on ice with a plus 25. He's a 12.6% uh, shooter last season, and he's expected to have a 19.1 plus minus for next season. And Mark, before I throw it to you, we got to talk about... 
this top line. I mean, oh my god. Jake Gensel, Braden Point, and Nikita Kucherov. I would hate to be the team that has to go up against a top line like this. Especially the defense that gotta go up against a line like this. I mean, this team, this line is going to be absolutely ridiculous, Merck. Well, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It looks like they're taking the page out of Vegas's book on they don't care who you are. They don't care if you're their captain. They're going to do what it takes to make this team younger, to make this team more competitive. I'm not saying Steven Stamkos isn't a competitive player because he definitely is. But you're getting a 29-year-old winger in, in Jake Gensel. And like you said, this is going to be one of the top lines in hockey. We've seen Kucherov have over 100 assists, I believe, this season. This team was outstanding. They didn't get it done in the playoffs. So getting in another new face, a young face, well, younger than Steven Stamkos, to get into this lineup with already having Victor Hedman, having Vasilevsky, you still have the Tampa core minus Stamkos, and they want to make more deep runs. You can tell that the Brees Willis, Brees Willis does not want to give up and give up on this core, and doing these changes are definitely going to make for an interesting season for him. Yeah, definitely. It's not the 2020-21 <laughs> Tampa Bay Lightning no more. I mean, this is crazy. I, I can't believe this top line. I mean, like you said, I, I don't even think it's a bold take to say that this is going to be the best line in hockey next year. Just with the stars sort of talent they have on this. Like you said, Kucherov had a lot of assists in the last year. Well, this guy's a wicked shot as well. When you have two great playmakers like Gensel and Braden Point on your line, it's going to be easy for Kucherov to rip him past the goaltender with these guys putting it on his, on his stick, putting it on his tape. But on the opposite side of it, Kucherov Kucherov can also pass as well, so Braden Point and Jake Gensel, Jens, Gensel are going to have a lot of goals as well, but I, I think this is the top line in hockey. It is absolutely absurd. I think that th this team is going to be a, a, a force next season, and, and I can't wait to see it start. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. We're going to see all these new faces. Like I said, Stamkos was a captain for this team. He was a former 40-goal scorer for this team. He did make a huge impact, but they get a faster player and a player that's hungry for a cup. The biggest thing is you don't want a full team of people that were just content not wanting to win a cup. Obviously, like I said, none of the guys I'm listing are this, but you add in some hungry new faces that want to make this final push. A guy like Jake Gensel that could put up 40 goals for you next season, especially playing with Kucherov and points. The power play is going to be lethal. You do lose out on guys like Stamkos and Sergachev, but they're going to try to do this quick retool in this offseason to try to get another Stanley Cup, which would be three, I think, in the past five or six years. So Tampa fans, be excited for Jake Gensel because I wanted him on Vancouver quite bad. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be electric in Tampa next year. Excuse the pun, but uh, I think that he's going to be really good. A very solid player, and the fans are immediately going to fall in love with this guy. And I watch out for Tampa next year. They might not have the deepest roster, but they definitely have one of the most star-studded rosters. But... Free agency isn't over. Trading isn't over yet. So who knows what they're going to build here in Tampa. But it's definitely going to be something special. We want to hear your guys' thoughts on everything we talked about in this video. Down below in the comment section. We're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here. Which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to Mark Freilich, or Freilich. He says, he's got it all, man. Great leader. He wants uh, what his dad didn't get. The cup, obviously talking about Max Domi. And we're obviously excited about Max, the Max Domi uh, signing here on the channel. Like a lot of you guys were down below in the comment section. But uh, we really appreciate your support here on the channel, Mark. Uh, love seeing all your guys' comments down below. So make sure to go down and leave one on this video. You might be featured on the next episode of Comment of the Day. Also, subscribe to the channel because we're not done yet. You might think we're done for the day, but we're not. We're clocking overtime today because there's so many signings. There's more videos to come. There's videos up on the channel, so make sure to check them out. And also check out the one that's popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, Casey, alongside my co-host, Mark Pye. Keep your stick on the ice.